Good news has just got a massive update and it's basically all about integrating AI into the app to make it more clever and more efficient. And there is also a bunch of time saving features. So here is everything you need to know. I divided the features into three categories to make things easier to see. The first category is the features that I don't personally care about and then there's the features that are nice to have and there are the features that are game changers. And we will also see at the end if all of these features are actually worth upgrading from GoodNotes 5 to GoodNotes 6 because it's actually not free to upgrade the app and you have to pay to get the new version but there's two types of payments either you pay it all at once or you pay a yearly subscription but I'll talk about which when I choose that at the end. So one of the features that I personally don't really care about as much is the ability to change the background of the pages of any book you created. It's just because I'm not really into making my notes look pretty or something like that. I just mostly use the app to annotate any powerpoints I have in uni so I'm probably not going to use this feature that much. Now you can also change the color of the folders and put a certain icon on them and just to be clear there are only certain icons you can choose from but yeah it's a cool feature but it's not something i would upgrade for and there's also a new marketplace which you can use to buy new templates and planners and stickers and all sorts of things but i don't personally use it because again it's not my use case for this app i just use it to annotate powerpoints and brainstorm ideas okay moving on to the features that are really nice to have and one of them is the whole new redesigned UI and interface. It just looks way better now. I like how the navigation tab is on the left. It just makes more sense because it's similar to the all of the other apps on iPadOS and it just looks more vivid and more modern. And speaking of modern, there is a new AI built in into GoodNotes because now there's three separate tabs which you can choose from. The first one is for handwritten notes and the second one is for typing and the third one is for recording voice and if you choose the typing tab we can see that everything changes and the toolbar looks more like word or google docs which is an interesting move i don't know if they are trying to compete with word and google docs to make more people use good notes as a typing app i don't personally see myself using good notes for this purpose because word is just the industry leading app for this type of stuff but if you do use use GoodNotes as a typing app, AI is now there to help you just like any other AI. It can fix your grammar and spelling, it can paraphrase sentences and it can change the tone of your writing, it can make it more professional or more friendly or more confident and it can also make your writing longer or shorter. I might change my mind if I find these features to be very helpful but until then I'm just gonna stick with Word. But the game changer features are the real talk here because from my experience these these new features make the experience a lot smoother and a lot more convenient and it just makes it worth upgrading if you use the app a lot. The two features that will save you a lot of time is auto lasso and auto eraser. So basically you can draw a circle using the pen around the area that you want to select and if you just press and hold on the circle itself it will turn into a lasso selection so it will save you time from having to go back and forth between the pen and the lasso tool and this is also the same for the eraser tool if you just scribble over any notes you've made it feels a lot more natural and time saving compared to having to go back and forth from the pen to the eraser tool from the pen to the eraser tool it's just a hassle and this way it's a lot easier and it will save you a lot of time if you use the app a lot another one that i really like is the autocorrect feature which basically fixes your spelling in your handwritten notes which is pretty cool and it's especially useful for me because because English is not my first language so sometimes I make some spelling mistakes and it saves me time from having to google the word so it's just another convenient and time saving feature which will make your experience a lot better and there is also a really cool feature which is the maths assistant and it depends if you actually do a lot of maths or not but if you do this will be really helpful because it doesn't actually solve the problem for you but it will notify you if you did any mistake take at any step of the process which will save you a lot of time so i think i'll find this feature really helpful 
because we do a lot of maths in biology and chemistry but if you don't do a lot of maths then you probably don't care about this feature but with that being said after reviewing all these features is it actually worth it well for me i think absolutely yes because i use the app a lot so saving a bit of time here and there will really add up over time however i didn't the subscription option because i think it's a waste of money having to pay 10 pounds every year instead i did the one-time payment which was 23 pounds i think but i'm not sure if it's worth it for your specific case so what i advise you to do is go ahead and try the seven days free trial and then see if you like it or not i know it's a bit of a nasty move from goodness to make the update paid but i get it it's a lot of value and i think it's absolutely worth it so let me know if i missed any features and i would love to hear your opinion down below